Hey, I'm Zanzi and welcome to Farmer's Inside Track, episode 166. I'm your host, Tornumdu. A landmark deal signed between South Africa and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia will see Mzanzi's beef exported to the country by 2023. Lo van Rennen, the CEO of Beefmaster Group, joins us now to talk about how this deal is set to change the game for local producers. Mr. Lo van Rennen, it's so great to have you here with us once again on Farmers Inside Track. We have quite a significant change for South African beef producers after an agreement was signed with Saudi Arabia. Maybe just as a start, why this specific deal is so significant for the SA beef sector? Well, it's significant for the beef sector and the livestock sector to be able to grow our business. We are working towards a plan, a vision that we've got for 2030, where we trying to get to about 20% revenue exports, and then also to grow the sector by another 12 billion rand in the industry. So this is just one part of that total plan. And Saudi Arabia is a very important export destination for our product. The opportunities that were unlocked is really huge for the sector, but more predominantly the producers. Maybe you can just unpack it for us so that we can understand it better about what it will actually mean for the sector. What this means is that any producer can be part of this by purely marketing the animals. And obviously what will happen now is is that we will be audited. Facilities like Beef Masters will be audited and we will be able to export to Saudi, hopefully. And then there'll be more demand for the product. Any event, any farmer or producer will be part of the value chain to get at least more at the end for their livestock. But what the producers also can do is that they can either contact us directly to try to market the animals through us, or they can contact us by directly slaughtering the animals if they are suitable, and we can obviously pay them the relevant price to be able to use that meat for the exports. So this indirectly, it will affect that the producers will get more for their product. And this deal really has come at the right time, you know, given the current economic challenges. What impact will it actually have on South Africa, but more specifically the South African beef sector? Is We're sitting similar to very many other industries. We're sitting in a very difficult position because the costs like fuel and interest costs and all related to logistics had gone up tremendously the last couple of months and more so the last year. We have to sell the product for more, but we're sitting on the other side with a conundrum that the market is not accepting more simply because the consumer is really struggling as well for the same reasons. And uh, we just don't see anything else but to sell the product internationally and to get a dollar revenue in the business. So the answer for us is really is to be able to sell the product for in dollars in the world market and try to be able to cover our costs that way. So that is a a huge challenge. And this will certainly alleviate some of that pressure. And we have a pretty good reputation. I mean, South African beef is sought after by many nations and specifically, obviously, now Saudi Arabia. What makes us so different from other producers? The Muslim customer predominantly wants to have leaner meat, less fat, which is more healthy. So the countries that we're targeting, specifically the Middle East, North Africa, called MENA in the global stage, they procure meat from the likes of the US and Australia. And those products they supply have a higher fat content. So our meat, due to the fact that it's got less fat and it's also a younger animal, more towards veal from Europe, it's more pink in color and it's got less fat that is why it's so sought after specifically in predominantly the muslim countries thanks so much for that context and for sharing that with us just as we wrap up what are the next step in the deal and is it a quick turnaround where we will be sending our produce immediately what is the process we can just explain that to us briefly please So the transaction needs to be formalized and rolled out. So what that basically means is that the Saudi Arabians will send out a delegation. They come and expect the facilities mainly for halal and halal slaughter practices to make sure 
that they conform to their, their practices and that they are happy with that and the authorities locally that control that, as well as um, our biosecurity, typically traceability, animal health and hygiene, and the slaughter hygiene and practices that we've got in the facility. So if Beefmaster is then accepted, which we believe it will be, because there's, there's no country that haven't been accepted to, in, in actual fact, we are a top-class facility, world-class, when it comes to all the criteria, we'll be able to start exporting soon. Yes, the turnaround is quite quick. Before the end of the year, we might know. And by the beginning of next year, we'll already be able to start exporting. That sounds really exciting. And I'm sure producers and your organization is really amped for the way forward. So everything of the best with that. Do you have any final message that you'd like to leave with our listeners, and specifically beef producers in Mzanzi? We believe that this is good news for everybody. And they must embrace it, that our products have been accepted in the world and that we are on the world stage. And they must just keep producing good quality products like they're doing already. Our livestock that the farmers produce in this country is really good. So we can can make use of that and we can get the animals and the meat uh, exported to many countries. And Saudi Arabia is a sort of the market in the world. So we are very happy that we've got such a good product to offer them. And thank you very much for that. Thanks again, Lo van Renen, CEO of the Beef Master Group. From Edo Numdu, our producer Mingan van der Fendt, and the rest of the Food from Zanzi team have an absolutely amazing week. Bye for now. Life in South Africa can be a lot. I mean, scroll through Twitter for a minute and tell me I'm wrong. Thank God for South Africans though, right? We're inspiring, and even on the bad days, we fight back with a smile. That's why I love Food for Mzanzi so much. They're not ashamed to celebrate the ordinary unsung heroes who work every day to put food on our nation's tables. Go to foodformzanzi.co.za and never miss an inspiring story.